If you cut the connection between the left and right brain, would it cause death or split personality? Back in 1935, Portuguese neurologist Igas Manas discovered that in epilepsy patients, abnormal electrical signals were racing across the corpus callosum the bridge between brain halves. He proposed cutting that bridge to stop seizures for good. After initial animal tests showed it was safe, doctors in Boston performed the first corpus callosotomy on a human in 1940. The surgery worked the patient's seizure stopped, but then things got weird. Here's why. Your nervous system is cross-wired. Your left brain controls the right side of your body, and your right brain controls the left. Normally, the two hemispheres of your brain constantly share information through the corpus callosum, which is why you always feel like one unified conscious mind. But when that neural bridge is cut, that teamwork totally falls apart. Then scientists ran an experiment. They had the patient focus on a dot at the center of a screen. When an image of a car flashed on the right side, the info went to the left brain and the patient could immediately name what they saw. But when a zigzag flashed on the left side, the info went to the right brain. The patient said, I saw nothing, but their left hand could accurately draw the shape and number of the zigzags. But here's the wild part. Sometimes the two sides of the brain seem to have minds of their own. The left hand could quickly put puzzle pieces together following a pattern while the right hand would literally knock them right off, like it was totally messing with everything. But this isn't split personality, it's just what happens when the left and right brain lose their middleman, and each side starts doing its own thing. Two brains, one body.